of 2, chapter 16 of Never Let Me Go, we see a lot of the veterans leaving and what they call is training, which basically means these clones are leaving to harvest their organs. Um, now, just kind of a reminder that the cottages where they're living are really, really gross. It's old donated furniture. So like if you were to go to Goodwill and find a couch maybe that's 50 years old, that's what they have. If you look at the page one, if you look at page 186 at the top of the page, they describe what the, how the cottages look. The roof was leaking badly. The dorm was permanently off its hinges. It wasn't used for anything much other than as a place for couples to sneak off to in warmer months. So it's not the best place to live, but really the only place they know is, are the cottages and their school. That's about it. Um, so looking back to Tommy's drawings, so we talked last chapter, he was making these small intricate drawings of animals because he is interested in the deferment process. So for some reason in his mind, he thinks that the art that goes to the galleries has something to do with potentially getting deferred. Um, so on page 186, we kind of see them talking about the drawings. And just a reminder that he still has not told Ruth about this yet. So when Ruth finds out about the drawings, and you see this on page 192, 193, she sort of laughs at Tommy in a way, and she's degrading him. She's probably upset a little bit because Kathy was told before her. Um, if you didn't like Ruth before, you definitely will not like her now because she has just become a liar and very much of a bully. I think one specific scene that sticks out to me the most is when Tommy was outside playing football and everyone was making fun of him. Ruth was kind of egging everybody on and it's just very degrading. Um, if you look at the bottom of page 193, she keeps calling him sweetie, sweetie boy. And you know, terms like that, yes, you could call them terms of endearment, but at the same time, it's kind of rude and kind of takes away his masculinity in a way. Tommy, sweetie, don't make a fool of yourself in front of our friend. Do it to me, that's all right, but not in front of our dear Kathy. And she's calling him sweetie gums and just kind of, we're putting a show on in front of Kathy, almost. Um, another thing that happens with Ruth, Kathy, and Tommy is the tape. So Ruth finds out about the tape and she's unhappy. Um, and it, she's, it's not really evident that she's unhappy. It's more that she just reacts a little bit negatively. Um, so if you look at page 191, um, he sa she says to Kathy, I told her as neutrally as I could about how Tommy and I had come across the tape that day while she'd gone with the others. She went on examining it and then said, so Tommy found it for you. No, I found it. I, I saw it first, says Kathy. Neither of you told me, she shrugged. At least if you did, I never heard. So I don't think Ruth is very happy that she wasn't told about the tape. It's kind of a secret that her that Kathy and Tommy share and Ruth is not involved. Um, so she does not like to be the odd one out. And I put this picture down here because it kind of represents what's going on now. Because Ruth is so degrading towards Tommy and she kind of makes fun of him for these drawings, Tommy's leaning a little bit towards Kathy right now. Um, he's starting to realize who really cares about him. 